Despite coming off of its sixth A-Sun championship and first ever NCAA tournament win last season, head coach Mindy McCord and associate head coach Paul McCord honed in on fine-tuning the 2020 women's lacrosse team this offseason. One of our main aspects was, you know, how the little details of the game mattered um, to be able to create more depth on our roster and have that depth be super talented. So I think we looked at um, unit development as well as individual skills, taking those to the next level. It's our player development time, so we say if you get 1% better, if everybody gets 1% better at something, then our team's collectively improving. So. That was the focus. We developed a lot more chemistry because we had, uh, especially defensively, because we started three or four freshmen last year defensively and a sophomore who was a transfer. So it was like a whole new defense. We got a chance this year okay. to maybe get to know each other better. And instead of just being thrown right in the fire, we kind of get some time to breathe and play. After breaking through that NCAA tournament glass ceiling last year, no one involved with the program is ready to settle again this year. You kind of build upon that. You know, the more postseason time and experience you get, um, you know, especially for a team where we have a lot of young players playing. Last year we won our first NCAA game. Obviously the next step is to get past that playing game and to get to the next round of NCAA. We know we can make it there this year and we got a dedicated team to do so. Having been with the program since its infancy, the magnitude of last year's postseason success is not lost on Coach McCourt. She does know that taking the next step, however, is predicated on a deep and experienced team being battle-tested at the end. Yeah, I think hosting that here was great to have another, you know, home game and um, to be able to get that win under your belt. You know, I built probably one of the toughest schedules this year from an RPI standpoint. So taking that even that next step to be able to play you know, potentially tournament qualifying teams, you know, and if you can get that in your in-season experience, we hope that will propel us to that next level um, in our postseason this year. One of those experience pieces is sophomore defender Maddie Sturgill, an all a Sun first team selection as a freshman and now a preseason all-conference honoree and team captain. My freshman year was a really good year. I was fortunate enough to play with great group players and now I'm back with like most of those players as well. They continue to help me grow as I continue to help them grow. We're all together in a cohesive unit. So, I mean, I play as well as they do, and they, I know they count on me, and I count on them to play. So just as all of us working as like a unit and mixed together, it works really well. There is no soft landing for this group, but the ceiling is just as high as always and the coaching staff wants them to learn and grow, all while producing the results they know this team is capable of. You know, start the season off right. We have four games in February. Let's go 4-0. and Let's really focus on 4-0 and February, and then let's go from there. And uh, the bottom line is, whether you're 4-0 and February or not, you got to do the best you can and make the most improvements that you can all month long. So when you go into March, you're a completely different team than with the team we're talking about right now.